Welcome back to my new series on wildlife photography tips. Last time I talked about getting at eye level to get better perspective on your subject. This time, I'm going to talk about shutter speed. Now if you're shooting with a long lens, like 500mm or more, then you're probably going to want to use a fairly fast shutter speed, like 1 over 500th of a second or more. Especially if you're shooting moving subjects like birds in flight, where I often use 1 over 2,000th of a second, so I can freeze motion. But sometimes if you're shooting at a high shutter speed like this, your image is going to be really noisy. So what I like to do is if I find an animal that's sitting very still and it gives me lots of time to take its picture, then I might actually lower my shutter speed a lot more than you might think is reasonable. Instead what I like to do is drop my shutter speed to 1 over 200th of a second, take another shot, and then after that drop my shutter speed again to 1 over 100th of a second. In this way, if it's really dark, I can still get enough light on my subject. Now, this only works if your subject is standing still and gives you time to take a shot, and if you can get in a position to keep your camera fairly stable. For example, I found this heron just sitting on a branch, and you know, herons are actually quite steady creatures. They often stand still for a very long period of time. And actually, with this heron, I managed to shoot it at very low shutter speeds. I started at 1 over 1 60th of a second, shooting on a 500 millimeter lens. And then I could drop my shutter speed even more to 1 over 40th of a second, and that was the lowest I could go. And you can see, at this shutter speed, I still got a fairly sharp shot, and that's because I just had the time to try several times. And with modern shake reduction and vibration reduction systems, if you have the opportunity to try many times, take at least 10 or 20 shots, then at this low shutter speed, even with a long focal length, you're likely to get at least one sharp shot. So that's my tip for today. Don't be afraid to try lower shutter speeds if the animal you're taking a picture of allows you to and is very patient. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.